Mozilla Firefox 133 is now available for download. Here's what's new. Here's a summary. It includes the ability to show tabs from other devices in the tab overview menu, GPU accelerated Canvas 2D enabled by default for Windows users, a new anti-tracking feature enabled in enhanced tracking protection strict mode. So that's what I'm going to focus on here. This protection detects bounce trackers based on a redirect behavior and periodically purges their cookies and site data to prevent tracking. Basically, sometimes, I think we've explained this before. If you click on website A and you're trying to go to website B, sometimes that link will take you to website C first and then to website B. And that's a way of like gathering analytics, knowing who clicked the link, getting information about you and your device. It's a privacy risk. I, I don't really like the way they're handling this, to be honest. They're like, oh, we're just gonna periodically purge the cookies, which I just put out a video today, actually. Actually, it came out earlier this week for patrons. But uh, for the public, it is available now. You can go watch it. And it's all about how you're tracked. It's all about device fingerprinting and being tracked online. And I make the argument that cookies are a very small piece of that. So the fact that they're just like, oh, we're gonna pur purge cookies and site data from time to time, to me is really more performative than actually useful. I mean, granted, I think it's better than nothing. And I say that in the video, but I don't know. I like, there's other sites who or other, other uh, browsers and services who have stronger protections to get around this. They will find ways to figure out where the link is going and just take you straight there. I think that's better in my opinion, but I guess it's better than nothing. It's also only in strict mode, which again, how many people have that turned on? I don't know. Firefox 133 also brings two interesting changes for Android users, namely the enablement of desktop mode browsing by default for large devices, I'm assuming they mean like tablets, and the ability to handle text copied to the clipboard as sensitive content while browsing the web in private browsing mode. That's pretty cool, interesting stuff. I mean, again, it's an improvement. We're getting there at the pace of molasses. I guess, good job, Mozilla. You just watched a clip from Surveillance Clips, which is from our normal weekly podcast, Surveillance Report, where we dive into the privacy and security news of each week. It's pretty extensive, and so if you're somebody who wants to learn a little bit more than just what this clip showed, check out the weekly podcast. It's consistent, and you'll get all the news you need. Check it out here on the screen.